Yes, my name is Pamela Alanis. Um, I, I know a lot of people uh, think that mental illness uh, starts very young, but it's not necessarily so. Um, my mental illness started when I was about close to 60. Um, my husband passed away when I was 58. Uh, we had been married 36 years. And um, I became very depressed. Um, after several years, um, I started having delusions. I heard music where there wasn't any. Um, I got paranoia. I thought I had bugs on me for about a year and a half. Um, and nobody seemed to quite, they kept telling me there's nothing there, but I didn't believe them, you know. Uh, it wasn't until I started hearing the music uh, that my daughter went, Mom, we're gonna have to do something about it. <laughs> this isn't right. And she took me to Henderson. Um, mental health and uh, they were going to make an appointment for me like three weeks later and she went no you're not you're gonna do something right now you're gonna stop this, this is, you're gonna fix this and so they did they, they had someone see me that day and then they and within three days the uh, music stopped um, it took um, an addition of one medication half of a medication to stop the bugs but it was just like that. It was just instantaneous. Um, sometimes I think we don't realize that there's a chemical imbalance, you know, in the brain that causes mental illness a lot of the times. Uh, I know that the stress of losing my husband, um, dealing with that uh, was part of the reason that I, that I, it was like a breakdown, you know. Um, I started coming here uh, about two years after I started uh, taking medication and it was just a godsend. It was a wonderful place to come and paint and draw. Uh, my daughter and I would come here and enjoy, just enjoy our days. We would come three or four days a week. Um, it was until um, two and a half years later that the art teacher that was here um, decided was gonna leave and they let me know that he was leaving and I asked for the job. Uh, I do have an art background so now I'm, I'm the art teacher here. And it's wonderful, I just love it. Uh, I love the people, uh, I love being able to help people. I love the, uh, the atmosphere that's here. It's very friendly and happy and I think everyone is grateful to be here and 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 to be around friends and people that are uh, that don't judge them and we don't judge each other we really just support each other and I think that's one of the best things about nine muses the fact that they do that it's it's when you when I'm doing art it's like I am that the rest of the world has just disappeared <laughs> I mean, I get so caught up in what I'm doing and what goes next and whether this is right and do I have to change this and oh, this is coming out really well. It's all, it's like 24 seven right on this piece of paper or on this canvas that I'm working on. And so it totally takes me away and it just gives me such pleasure and uh, a feeling of accomplishment that I've that I'm creating something beautiful. And then there's people around me that'll talk, they'll be talking to me or whatever at the same time, but you have that, you have that wonderful uh, creativity that you can't get from anywhere else. There's just, you know, it's like a, a singer who needs to sing. Well, an artist needs to, to do their art. And I think that's probably the, uh, the therapy part of it. It really, it's, it gives you something just so special.
It is. I really enjoy the people. I like uh, talking to them and helping them and giving little details. And I teach um, five art classes here a week. And then we also have um, art talk where we discuss different types of art, different types of artists, different styles so that people can see um, things that are not the norm necessarily. And they, they really enjoy that. They really enjoy that. So it's, uh, I teach watercolors, acrylics, pastels, um, fundamentals of drawing, and life drawing, where we're drawing people. So there's a variety. And that goes on um, four days a week. So I have the classes. Uh, probably acrylics because <laughs> because you could paint over acrylics. You can you can fix it. It's like an eraser. You just put another color over top of it. Uh, unlike watercolors, where you really have to be very careful. Um, there is some changes you can make in watercolors, which I've discovered, um, but it's not quite as forgiving as acrylics. Acrylic painting is very forgiving. I isolated myself is what I did because I thought I had bugs on me for a year and a half. And so you don't want to be around people because now you're going to do, give them whatever you have, even though my kids are saying, if you had it, we'd have it too, you know, um, but you don't believe that. Um, I think I just didn't quite get it. I didn't quite, you know, I even went to a doctor for it. I went to, I mean, I went to dermatologists. It cost me a lot of money. Um, and one little pill, you know, and it was, and it was gone. Um, I guess the, the problem is that um, when you're not familiar with mental illness, you know, you're really not familiar with it because you don't, really experience it in your family. You don't understand it until even when it happens to you, you're sitting there going, I, I don't believe that. It has to be true. Well, it's not true. You know, the music has to be coming from the neighbor. The neighbor is waking me up at three in the morning and it's, uh, you know, it's them, it's not me. And it's, and it's, and once, but once you realize that it is you, you're not so afraid of it. You know what I mean? Uh, mental illness now to me is so simple. It's just an imbalance of the brain. And uh, I know that I've seen people that talk to themselves and do all kinds of things that you don't expect in the norm, uh, so to speak. And where it would have bothered me before and it frightened me even. Now I just go, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you know? it's, it's just I've begun to realize that people are people, you know, no matter what their circumstances are. Well, I think that they accept everyone. They do, they accept everyone. Um, as, as Chris says, we play well with others, you know. <laughs> Um, I think the acceptance and the, um, the ability for people to come here and do art and do music and to sing and to do meditation and Tai Chi and uh, acting and you name it, music um, and art. You know, the fact that they, it gives them opportunity to think of something other than their illness, to think of something other than the stigma that people tend to give you, where it's, it's not, we don't feel that here. It's uh, very, um, well, it is forgiving. It's a forgiving place. It's where everyone understands the other person are. They, they have an idea of what the other person's going through or has gone through. And uh, it makes a difference when you feel wanted and, you know, have some understanding of another person.